today I'll be showing you how to create a dispatch and I also hope that you'll pick up on a few new things that you weren't previously aware about. Once you've logged into the portal, click on Shipments. This is on the left hand side of your screen underneath Distribution. This is where you can create a new shipment and see the details of your current shipments. To create a shipment, click Add. Any sections which have a red star next to them cannot be left blank as these require input. The first section to be entered is the shipment category. The three options that you can select are standard, one-off and container. Standard is where you can create a shipment using a predefined destination. One-off is where you can create a shipment using a one-off destination. You can use this option for an address that you would like to have loaded for future use. Due to excise requirements, all one-off shipments will be treated as an excise payable address. Please contact the warehouse team if this needs to be changed. When creating a one-off shipment after entering the address, there is an option to request this address to be saved as a standard ship to address. And the final option, container, is where you can create a shipment container using a predefined destination. You can click on any of these three options depending on what it is that you would like to do and then just follow the steps. If you would like to create a shipment that will go out today but use an address that is not on the list of preloaded addresses, the best option to use is new one off. In this tutorial I'll be taking you through the steps of creating a shipment to a predefined destination, so I will be using the first option. The Client Reference section is where you can enter a name or perhaps an order number that will help you to recognise the shipment. You will then need to enter where you would like your order to be shipped to in the Shipment Address section. The input for the ship date is the date that you would like your shipment to leave Wineworks. If you would like your shipment to leave on the same day of which you are entering the dispatch, it must be entered before midday. The shipment type section is where you'll need to select the type of dispatch that it will be. You can choose for it to be client pickup, courier, bulk order on pallet, container order, dry goods or overnight. For this tutorial I'll be using Courier. You will then need to select who you would like to organise the freight from Wineworks for your shipment in the freight section. If you select Wineworks we can arrange it through our network of suppliers. Please contact the distribution team if you would like a quote or a copy of the current freight rates. If you select client, you will need to organise freight yourself. Please remember that if you do not select client, you will need to enter the name of the freight company which will be picking up your shipment in the notes section at the bottom of this page. If you require an order number or an attention to on the packing slip, please enter it in the receiver reference section. Any of these extra general items can be chosen by selecting Yes in the corresponding drop-down. No has already been selected for you by default. If you have any instructions for the freight company, Wineworks or the receiver, please enter them in the appropriate notes section. If you wish to attach a copy of the export booking or delivery advice to the dispatch, click here to attach files. Once this form is complete, click here to save. If you would like to change or add any information, you can edit the dispatch by clicking here. You can also add a new stock item by scrolling down to the bottom of your screen and clicking add stock. Within the Stock to Consume section, you can start to type part of the description of the product you want to add, for example, PIG.
By typing PID, you will be presented with filtered results of all the Pinot Gris products in stock, as well as the number of cases in stock. As this list is built live from scale, please be a little patient for the list to build. In the next two sections, please enter the number of units that you would like to send and then the unit type. Part cases can be entered if you wish. Once complete, click here to save. You can continue to add stock items until the order is complete. At this stage, you can choose to leave the dispatch of the draft and finalise it later. Or if all is correct and ready to be processed, you can scroll back up to the top of your screen and click here to submit. But please keep in mind that if you would like to make any further changes after submitting, you will need to contact Wineworks distribution team to discuss them. Once the dispatch is complete and any associated charges are finalised, you can view the confirmed shipment on the confirmed shipments page. This is on the left hand side of your screen underneath distribution. This is where the dispatch will be shown once it's complete, along with the details of any charges. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you can now confidently create a dispatch.